All right, guys. It's finally time to do overheat hill test on the Gotway MSP. I'm turning the wheel over to Chooch in a couple days. So I'm going to do the, my stress testing tonight. And then um, I'll be doing my range test tomorrow. And, and then packing it up and sending it, sending it to Chooch. Let him try and destroy it. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, overheat hill. Again, I'm really enjoying the lift sensor. Stuff like that. Of course, I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, uh, yeah, you're not going to like it as much. <laughs> oh well. So, gorgeous day here today. Southern California. It's um, last Tuesday of February, the 24th. Just gorgeous day. It's uh, about 75 degrees. Sunny. Yeah, this is perfect. So I have the alarm, current alarm set to, to 90 amps. Uh, I'm not sure what the current draw on this. The other day I said I was having a hard time get, getting the, the trigger when I was going up Mount Wilson. And, uh, but then when I was riding home down the highway in Mount Wilson at higher speeds, then it was triggering at the lower amp settings. So I think today I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it where I'm leaving and all the other Gotway wheels at 90 amps. Uh, the Nikola would trigger a lot at 90 amps, the other wheels here and there. And we'll, we'll see, we'll just see what this does for consistency's sake. All right, well, let's uh, do this first preliminary here, hill, just to get a feel for things. Again, so far it seems like I don't have to apply much pressure on the side of the wheel, if at all, to get this to go up. Uh, this trail condition is really bad. See, no trigger. And I would have expected that to be triggering a lot based on other wheels going up that little section. There's just no doubt about it. This has a lot more torque than the MSX. I know these hills really well and I know how the, I have to ride all my wheels up here and uh, yeah I'm really enjoying it. Now let's see this is some good downhill. This will probably be the steepest downhill I've actually done yet on this wheel. Feels great. No sense that the wheel's gonna roll away from you. You guys have ridden downhills on wheels that don't have a lot of torque like the Z10. <laughs> uh, it's kind of scary. It feels like the wheel might just roll away from you. You can't slow it down enough. And again, I love the tire on this guy. It's definitely a, definitely um, becoming a tire aficionado. <laughs> Just to uh, appreciate the softness of uh, the softness of a good tire. Just conforms to the trails like this. 
much better than the stiffer tires like the 16x I go keep going back to that it really has a st stiff tire there you hear it yeah, got one beep out of it not much though I'm just kind of I'm just kind of going slowly up this hill that's why I describe it like a tank I could just kind of slowly climb up steep stuff without struggling and just kind of keeps going I'm really enjoying the MSB I'm uh, really looking forward to uh, to getting one I know Jason E wheels I know they're gonna be selling them but uh, he hasn't told me when I think he said the end of this week he'll he'll have uh, information about uh, delivery dates I think so we'll know more that buzzing sound it's not not a very good beep <laughs> that's that's the alarm I'll turn the volume up when I take a break here Ah, beautiful. Well, that preliminary eel was a total success. Uh, I just think that the MSX has been a trail, has been a great trail wheel, but I think the MSB is going to turn out to be the best wheel made for trails, for sure. Just because of the torque and um, the tire the high the high pedals the high pedal angle the dihedral and I know some of you guys don't like that and you filed on your pedals to make them flat like uh, like in an emotion wheel <laughs> or a king song but I just I don't know maybe my my feet are tough but I know other guys who like the steep pedals it just makes for you just have incredible clearance uh, ground clearance because of it and your feet are just locked totally locked on okay so the next stop will be my preliminary hill right before overheat hill it's a really good stress hill and uh, for going up and for going down it's not super long but it'll give me a good sense of the true torque of this wheel see you in a bit all right, guys, I'm at the base of a super steep hill that uh, only the MCM5 has conquered. No other wheel, they, they just stall part way up. Very steep, you can't, you can't hit it going fast. You just have to go slow. And uh, the MCM5 has been the only wheel that has the torque that's been able to do it. Call me crazy, but I feel like trying it today with this MSB. It just feels like it has so much torque. Uh, this might be a bad decision. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, uh, let's see what happens.
46 degrees C, the temperature. That's the alarm. That's my temperature alarm on the on wheel log. <laughs> it sounds like something's gonna self-destruct. <laughs> no, no. Temperatures at 62. <laughs> oh, that was great. Okay, guys. Amazing. An 18 inch wheel climbing up that hill. If any of you guys come out here to ride with me around these hills and want to try Overheat Hill, I'll show you that hill. You'll be damn impressed when you see it from the ground. A few people seen it. Jeff's seen it. He tried it for uh, about uh, 20 feet on his uh, one of his wheels and it just stopped. Wow. I'm uh, really impressed. Temperature's dropping now below 60. I was a little nervous there. <laughs> I was thinking, oh God because the 90 amp alarms were starting to trigger a bit more. And I started to think, oh, was this a bad choice? Am I gonna do a face plant? And then, and then it starts, and then that alarm starts going off continuously. Uh, I gotta change the setting to that, uh, more like the 75. <laughs> I think I had it set at 70, 60 degrees. Yeah, 60, because the Nikola overheats at 65. So I had I had the alarm set to 65 to 60. <laughs> I hope that was entertaining. All right, well, let's see. While I'm running here, I'm just going to go down the other hill, which is my test for uh, how does the wheel feel going downhill, you know, in terms of uh, torque, you know. Does it feel like it's going to give way on me? Feels pretty good. Definitely better than MSX. Z10 is horrible. MSX always gave me a feeling of just slight concern. Unlike the 16 inch wheels, just have a lot more torque. You don't feel, you don't really feel anything, but uh, yeah, this, this feels great. MSB, the new torque king of the world for wheels. I mean, this is an 18-inch wheel. I mean, this is huge compared to the 16X. And it went up that hill. I mean, <laughs> can't get over how I'm super impressed. I, I feel like I can take this wherever I take the MCM5 now. Which is just amazing. Yeah, 
total total control a total authority over this wheel ah fantastic I'm real you guys can probably see see that I'm excited ah the wheels they just keep getting better and better I mean these wheels are just amazing compared to the wheels that we had in like 2016 when I came on the scene just amazing what we can do with these things now incredible all right see you at the base of overheat hill in uh, probably about uh, 10 minutes see you in a bit okay guys I'm at the base of overheat hill temperature of the wheels 40 41 degrees uh, ready to go for it every time you hear the that uh, that uh, kind of crappy buzzer sound that's a 90 amp alarm triggering and uh, I'll read off the temperature as I note it all right Wish me luck. Forty one degrees. Forty six, actually. <laughs> Maybe I misread that. I oh, sure feels nice. It's power, power, power. Forty nine degrees. Fifty nine degrees, I think. So, have you guys heard any alarms yet? Sixty two degrees C. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a wheel. Barely had to squeeze the shell at all. More for stability than anything else. Oh, the power of this wheel is just. That's amazing, guys. Sixty two hasn't climbed any higher. And the power. This is a new all time reigning champ. And it's a huge 18 inch wheel, which I can't get over. And the speed, I was just a couple spots, I kind of felt like I had to slow down. And a lot of that's just the trap, crappy uh, trail condition. So uh, 
I guess if you're a New York City speed freak, you probably don't like this wheel. But if you're a guy that uh, is okay with anything below, you know, low 30s speed-wise, and uh, likes to um, do trail riding like this, or you have any any hills in your uh, riding, man, you got to get this wheel. I think it's an ultimate trail riding wheel for sure. And it's pretty damn fun on the on the road too. <laughs> I'll be doing my uh, I'll be posting this tonight, the 24th, and uh, hopefully, uh, well, I'll be doing my uh, range test tomorrow, which is I do it the same route, same speeds I do on my other wheels, so it'll give me a consistent, uh, you know, value with other wheels. And then I pack it up and uh, send it to Chooch and let uh, and let him destroy it. Hey Chooch, if you're watching this, <laughs> it's a great whale. All right, guys. Hope you found this interesting, entertaining, and uh, keep a watch on my channel for continued EUC uh, videos. Thank you. See you guys later.